Hey everybody, it's Matt. How are you guys doing? I'm doing great, and I hope you've had a great holiday season. Mine was pretty fantastic. I flew on over to the west side of the United States, and two days ago I flew back to the east coast, and I'm pretty jet-lagged. But that's, I expected that. That's alright, right? Uh, I'm making this video because uh, I know um, that a number of you have still had have had problems dealing with the monetization staff in monetizing your videos. And I'm talking about the direct partners, but this will probably soon apply to affiliate partners for which the new changes are to come in January. And um, I'm sure you guys will be dealing with that process um, as I am, because I am probably going to be an affiliate partner myself. As such, I've made a small change to my website to better deal with them and to finally solve the problem of passing my music as um, something that you can use in my videos, something that you have permission to use in my videos. In the past, I've had a 3.0 CC license and also a permission form in the form of a document, a Word document that people can do download and then fill out their information and send to YouTube. Uh, many times that worked and uh, sometimes that didn't and I've gotten a few people that have basically said that not only that their videos were denied monetization but their videos were also deleted in the process as well so we're going to avoid that altogether. Uh, I have finally come up with a solution that will fully satisfy all of their stringent requirements. So let's let's take a look at this solution. A lot of you have seen this before, but I just wanted to go over it just in case some of you haven't seen this uh, and you wanted to know exactly what to do with this form. So here we have my one of my link pages uh, featuring one of my tracks. It is essentially the same link page as before, except for this section right here. Basically, it's a three-field form and a submit button. And with the first field, you can enter your full name in. I'm going to basically enter Ricky Bobby as the full name. Channel name, Ricky Bobby. And email address associated with that email, with that YouTube channel, Ricky Bobby. Com. So you can see I've been practicing this and messing up quite a bit on my takes here. But in any case, once you get all that information entered into these three fields, hit the submit button, a new tab will pop up with a generated PDF with the information that you entered in. You can see I'm Matthew Huffaker, website, channel name, email, give permission to Ricky Bobby, channel name, Ricky Bobby, email rickybobby at gmail.com. It also has a timestamp associated with this, which is also another specific requirement that at least the help document on YouTube requires. Uh, I'm hoping that this, and I'm pretty sure it will actually satisfy, finally satisfy the monetization staff. There are no shortcuts here. You save this document as a PDF file and then you can send it to YouTube and they won't bother you again with questions about whether you guys have permission to use my document as well. So that is the document right there. It's, um, it's a little bit nerdy. I did a little bit of uh, PHP program to pull this off, but it in the end, I believe that it will be worth it to help you guys deal with the upcoming challenges that we all face in 2014. I myself, I think I will be using this permission for myself because it's very difficult to convince somebody over at the uh, monetization staff that I actually write this stuff, right? Anyways, here's to a happy 2014 to you guys. I will see you guys later.